Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Today we're gonna to start this relaxing fade haircut beard shaping tutorial. What we did here was we grabbed a T outliner and we made a skin line going all the way around the head to start off our fade. And we went up to the temple area of the head on both sides. The next thing we're gonna do is grab our shaver and make sure that the head is nice and clean to give it that nice bald feeling and a nice, you know, it makes the haircut look a lot more nicer when the fade is finished. It just gives it that effect to the fade. It makes it look more blended out uh, when you bold it completely out. Making sure that it's nice and clean. Go over it a few times, guys. Just make sure that you make it nice and clean. So the next step we did was we grabbed our Andis Master Cordless and we open that up all the way. Now you can do this no matter what type of machine you are using. You can do this with a wall. It really doesn't matter. Just make sure that you open up the clip all the way. And we're gonna create a bar going all the way around the head. And that bar is our guideline uh, to take out that first line. We're gonna work on that next. So you wanna make sure that you make sure that this is nice and clean, guys. Go all the way around the head. Flicking the wrist, make that flicking wrist motion so you won't go higher than you're supposed to. Flicking the wrist will allow you to kind of stop where you want it to be. So that's the reason why you see me flicking my wrist. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our one fourth clip. Same exact motion guys, we're gonna flick our wrist and what we're doing here is just creating space for our fade, just kind of flattening the side of the hair out. So we're just flattening the hair so we can get a nice blend and it won't be bulky. So we're basically clearing the bulk guys and you wanna follow the way the hair is growing. As you see me uh, combing the hair to the side, that's pretty much the way that the hair is growing. If you don't comb it to the, the way the hair is growing or cut it the way the hair is growing, you're not really gonna see the results. All right, guys, so you wanna make sure that you're following the way the hair is growing. Next thing we did uh, was grab the one fourth. And with the one fourth, we're gonna close it up all the way. And as we go higher, we're gonna place it in the middle. And as we get higher, we're gonna open it up all the way. Now, the reason you're doing that is because when you open it up all the way, it's basically the same thing as that previous clip, guys. So as you get higher, make sure that you're opening the clip so you won't create another line. So what we're doing basically is blending into that previous clip. Next thing we're gonna do after this is grab our 1 16th. So we have the 1 16th on our Andis Master. Same rules apply. As you get higher, open up the machine. And as you can see, I'm making a lot more shorter strokes as I'm going higher. Same thing applies, guys. You, you just don't wanna go too high. You wanna make sure that you're just flicking out that initial line uh, that we started with, the one, that one bar that we made, that bar that we made in the beginning. So we're just working on getting that out and making it look nice and clean. taking out that skin line. So you wanna grab your Andis Master and you wanna close it up all the way. Now, if your machine is zero gapped, you should be able to take out that T outliner line that we created in the beginning. So that's gonna be able to take out that line. And as I get higher, what I'm doing is I'm opening up the machine. And then as I get higher, I'm opening it up all the way. Because if you guys remember, we created a line in the beginning with the machine open up all the way. So as long as we don't exceed that area, we won't you know, mess up the haircut. We won't go higher and we won't create any new lines. So we wanna keep shorter strokes, keep the machine closed. As we get higher, we wanna make sure that we open it up halfway. And if we get higher, we wanna make sure that we open it up all the way because that uh, cut is already there. If we open the machine up all the way, that cut is already there basically. So we wanna make sure that we repeat these, this motion all the way around the head, flicking the wrist. 
Now, if you guys want to learn how to zero cap your uh, Andis Master, you can go on our channel, type in uh, zero gap Andis Master, and you'll see the uh, the video on how to zero gap my Andis Master. And that can be a cordless or corded. Same thing all the way around the head, guys. You can see the blend looks a lot better. Pretty much blended out, guys. Um, you just want to do that. Go over your work. Just keep going over it. And make sure that you uh, take your time. Don't try to rush. And just make it nice and clean. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to apply the scissors on the top of the head. Very basic scissors, um, nothing crazy, no parting the hair or anything like that, just straight back hair cutting. And what I'm doing is applying a finger technique where I'm just using the two fingers. So that's the amount of hair that I'm cutting is the two finger length. Now, if you do want to see a more in-depth tutorial about what I'm doing right here, same thing. Go to our channel, type in how to use the scissors and you'll see uh, the pretty much the same thing I'm doing here. Now you wanted a side part, hard part, so what I'm doing is going over it with uh, the T outliner, uh, shaving up the front as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with the razor to really make it pop out. I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab some Easy Blade shaving gel. I'm gonna put that on the line just to make the, the razor glide a lot smoother. So I'm gonna go put that in there. As you can see, we're using the Easy Blade wood handle. And I'm gonna go back over with the outliner just to make sure any hair that's sticking there. We're gonna go ahead and grab some Easy Blade pomade, water-based pomade. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there just to make that hair stay where I want it to, comb it to the side and kind of style it and keep it in a really, really good position. And there's your fade, guys. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab an Afro pick and we're gonna pick out this beard as much as we can. Uh, pick it all the way out, guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a wall senior cordless and I'm going to go ahead and start shaping the beard. Now he doesn't want too much off. We want to keep that nice wide look. So what I'm doing is acting like I'm shaping out any other afro or anything like that. And I love the wall for this because again, it's a nice sharp machine. It's really good for shaping beards and stuff like that and shaping afros. So what I'm doing is just grazing over any hair that's sticking out, just making sure I'm getting it. Not going too much. A lot of guys that have beards want their beards they they're pretty much scared to have barbers mess with their beards but uh if you know what you're doing and you take your time you'll pretty much be able to you know get it done make sure that you're nice and relaxed don't go too crazy just follow the way the hairs are sticking out Look at what you're doing, take your time. Now I'm gonna go grab a T-outliner, by the way, this is the Babyliss uh, T-outliner. I'm gonna go ahead and just shape it up as much as I can with the outliner, but most of the beard work is gonna come from the straight razor. Uh, I don't wanna go too crazy with the outliner. I want this thing to come out nice and sharp crisp and right the way I want it so I'm gonna just take my time keep it as wide as possible uh, as high as possible as well and uh, as you guys can see the beard is pretty much straight the T outline is really gonna bring out that beard and make it pop Gonna go ahead and work on the mustache. You wanna go under the lip, not too high. Just get the strays that are coming down over the lip. A nice beard is not gonna look good with the mustache coming over the lip. And you wanna go ahead and shape the top as high as possible. You wanna keep this beard as wide as possible. You wanna go ahead and do some blade work. Here we go, apply some Easy Blade Shave Gel on there as well, just to make sure it glides nice and smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and just work that beard in there. Same thing on this side, guys. Make sure it's nice and sharp. And the awesome part is uh, the customer pretty much fell asleep 
a couple times. So it was a nice relaxing process.